Welcome everybody to our video solution to problem 2 from Super Quiz 3. In this problem we're asked to find the order of 2 modulo 23. So for those of you uh, outside of my class, uh, it's important to note when we defined this phrase the order of 2, uh, we're talking about the multiplicative order. So what we mean here when we say the order of 2, so the order of 2 is the smallest positive integer, OK? Such that if you raise 2 to the kth power, so this is different from the additive order of 2. So if we raise 2 to the kth power, that this will be congruent to 1 modulo 23. OK, so in order to determine, and, and well, by the way, of course, if it exists, right, that's really important here, right? So if it exists, so it may not exist. So if it exists, so if 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 there is no such integer, then we say that the order is is infinity. Um, in this case, it will turn out that such a, uh, a positive integer does exist. So the order will be some finite number here. Uh, but we, we don't know that at the beginning. Uh, so let's take a a peak. So what do we want to do? Well, we can start by taking powers, right? Two to the first. Hey, that's two. And two is congruent, well, to two, right? If we want to look at like least positive residues. Okay. And I'm going to use this um, amended notation, which I like to use uh, on my own. So another way of writing this, two to the k congruent mod 23 to one. So just a, a small notational convenience that I like to use. Okay, what about 2 squared? So we get 4, which, I mean, this is already a least positive residue, right? So we don't have to do anything interesting there. In fact, we could have just done it right here. So what about 2 cubed? Well, 2 cubed is 8. So there we go. That's 8 modulo 23. How about 2 to the 4th? So that's going to be 16. And at this point, let me, let me note, like, I could be just recomputing this each time. Or I could be noting, right, 2 to the 4th is just 2 times 2 cubed. So I could have just multiplied 8 by 2 to get here, right? Each one of these steps I'm multiplying by 2. So the next one, 2 to the 5th, I would want to multiply by 2. But it's important to remember, I get to reduce modulo 23. So 16 times 2 is 32. Okay, so there's this little shadow 32 over here, but I reduce modulo 23. And modulo 23, 32, right? I could subtract 23 from it and I get 9. Okay, so sorry, this is, well, I should say, you know, right? Well, this is going to equal 9. Um, it'll be congruent to 9. Yeah, this is no longer a correct equality, right? 16 times 2 is not 32 minus 23. Okay, so this is sort of off in the uh, off in the distance. It's not a real equality, you know, matching what we have before. Okay, so it's just you know over here. Okay, now we go to the next step, two to the six, and this is where a lot of people get in trouble is is they don't do this reduction at this point, and so they're left with computing two to the sixth and saying, oh, well, that's sixty-four, and now I reduce that mod twenty-three, but you don't have to do that, right? Again, we know that if you have a congruent to little a and b congruent to little b, Gauss tells us that the product of a and b is going to be congruent to the product of little a with little b. So if I have to multiply a bunch of stuff together, I can reduce mod whatever my modulus is, in this case 23, along the way. So I don't have to compute 2 to the 6 directly. I simply multiply 2 to the 5th modulo 23 by uh, I multiply 2 to the 5th modulo 23 by 2. So I multiply 9 by 2. So I get 18. Okay, and that's not too bad. Now, you can go from 18 and multiply that by 2. I like to play a little trick, though, because I like small numbers. I'm going to subtract 23 from 18, because that's like 0, and get negative 5. So this is congruent to negative 5. And negative 5 is a lot easier for me to multiply by 2. So 2 to the 7th, okay, again, just multiply by 2, I get negative 10. 
Okay, how about 2 to the 8th? 2 to the 8th, I just multiply 10, negative 10 by 2, and I'll get negative 20. Now, negative 20 is starting to feel very big. So I'll add 23 to it, and I'll get something congruent to 3. And 3 is really nice and small. I keep going. 2 to the 9th. Well, I just multiply 3 by 2, and I get 6. Okay, how about 2 to the 10th? I mean, we're going a long way here. Hopefully this goes somewhere. Multiply by 2. Oops. And we get 12. Okay, how about 2 to the 11th? I multiply by 2, and I get 24. And that's really big. So let me get rid of 23. And when I get rid of 23, I'm left with a 1. And hey, wait a second. Wait a second. Wasn't that our goal? Find a power, the smallest positive integer, k, such that when you raise 2 to that power, you get 1 mod 23. And look what we did. We were able, by raising 2 to the 11th power, to get a 1 modulo 23. And therefore, the multiplicative order of 2 modulo 23 is 11, right? That's the power that we had to raise 2 to to get back to 1.